In today's video, I am going to show you how you can set up Bowtie 2 on a Linux system. Bowtie 2 is a tool that is used for aligning sequence trees to long reference sequences. If you want to read more about this tool, make sure to visit the developer's GitHub page. This is the page and I will leave the link to this page in the description box. For this tutorial, we are going to download the binaries and then set it up on our Linux system. So make sure you also have a Linux system. If you're on the GitHub page, scroll up and then go to the right side and then you will see releases. This is the latest release. That's what I'm going to use. So I'll just click it. And then when I'm here, I can scroll down and then I'll get the appropriate file. But if you want to see the previous releases, you can go back and then just click on this one here, releases, this text here. So if you click it, you have the latest release as well as the previous releases. So that's about it. But we are going to use the latest release. Okay. As at the time of making this video, this was the latest. So it's likely that when you come back, probably this version may change, but it's the same procedure. So don't worry. Okay, so let's get the latest release, which is here. So I'll scroll down and then I'll come to this side here. So the binaries for Linux is this one. That's what I'm going to use there. Linux x86-64. Okay, this is the file. That is what I'm going to use. So I'll download it. So to download, I'll click it. And then I can save it on my system. I can also use the terminal. So I will show you how to download this zip file using the terminal. So to download using the terminal, you need to first get a download link. So you need to right click and then copy the link. So this is what we will use on the terminal. So let's go to the terminal and then download this zip file. I am on the terminal now. The first thing I will do is to cd to my home directory. So I'll use the cd command and then I'll download the zip file. Okay, so I'll use wget. So I'll type wget and then supply it with the download link. You can use curl also to download. So I just make sure you get this zip file. That's what is important. So I'll execute this command to download it. Okay, the file has been downloaded. Let's check the file. So I'll do an ls and then I'll see this zip file here. What we are going to do next is to extract the contents of this zip file. So I'll say unzip and then I'll specify the file name like this and then I'll run this command. So this will extract the contents of the zip file. It's done. So I will just check the file. So I will just do an ls and then you will see a directory here. So this directory has the binary. So let's ls into it and then check the file. So these are the files. Okay, so let's test. Now that we have everything here, we can test. We can just call this one here, Botai2. So to call Botai2, you have to specify the directory and then also call the file. So let's run this command. Okay, so it has been done. So that means that our download has been successful and then the files are working. So that's about it. Let's proceed. Now with the current setup, whenever we want to call Botai2, we need to specify the path, the absolute path. Okay. This can be problematic if you are moving from one directory to the other. So we want to set up our system so that when we call Botai2 like this, we can run it. But with the current setup, when we do this, we will have this coming up, this message coming up, command not found. So what we are going to do is to set up our system and then make sure we can call it using just the file name. So that's about it. And so we need to first organize our files. I normally have a single directory where I place all my tools, all my applications, all my software. And so I'll create a directory called make the apps. And then I'm going to move this directory there. So when I'm moving, I'll also rename this directory. So I'll say mv-v and then I supply with the 
name and then i also specify the apps that that's the target directory so apps and then i'll say bow tie 2. so here i am moving this okay but as i am moving it to this directory i'll also rename it to bow tie 2. but you can use any name of your choice as well so that's fine so i'll run this command okay it has been done so if i do an ls now you will not see that directory it's in the apps directory so i'll say ls apps and then i'll see it's there okay so in the ls apps both type 2 the files are there so here i can still call both type 2 so i'll say apps slash both type 2 slash both type 2 i can run this command okay so it still works but uh, we have to set up our system so that we can use just the file name so that's what we are going to do so let's proceed so to do that we need to get the path of the botai 2 binaries and so we need to first cd into the directory so we say cd apps botai 2 okay we can do an ls to check the files so i'll type pwd to get the path the absolute paths this is what i need this information here okay yours is also likely to be different so make sure you copy the appropriate path so this information is what i'll use to set up my pc so i'll cd back to my home directory and then I'll edit the Bashar C file. Before I edit the Bashar C file, I will make a backup. Okay, so I'll create a backup. So I'll say cp dot Bashar C, and I'll say Bashar C dot back. This is just a backup, so that if anything goes wrong, I can just replace the modified one with the original one here, the backup. But hopefully, nothing will go wrong. So let's proceed. So now I am going to edit the .bashrc file. To edit the .bashrc file, I'll use a text editor. You can use nano or vi or any text editor, but I prefer to use nano. So I'll say nano .bashrc. And then I'll scroll down a bit here, and then I'll just uh, add some commands here. So I'll say export path equals dollar $path. I bring a colon and then I paste the absolute part here. Okay, so I'm adding this to the um, path variable here, this one here. So that's about it. So I will now save the changes. So I'll say Control X and I'll save the changes here. Okay, now that is done. So if we want to see the changes take effect we need to open a new terminal so let's open a new terminal now okay we have opened a new terminal so we can say bowtie 2 and then we will execute it perfect so it has been done so that means that our setup has been a success so we can always call bowtie 2 by specifying the name so let's proceed now we have to do some cleanup. If you do an ls, you realize we have this zip file here, which now we don't need. We also have this backup file, which we don't need. So I am going to remove them from my system. So I will start with the bash rc .back, this one here. So I use rm-i and I specify that file name here. The dash i will allow um, the terminal to prompt me again okay so when i execute it i'll be asked to confirm so i'll just type y and then that's it so if i do an ls that file is no longer there i'll do the same for the zip file but you can keep the files if you want to okay but i will want to remove it from my system so rm i and then i'll just um, execute it again to remove it so y that's done so nice so everything has been done successfully so that's about it so that's how we set up botai to using the binaries
okay you can also install botai 2 by compiling from source or using anaconda so these are ways that you can also use so you have three ways you can use you can use conda you can also use the source code you can also use the binaries there are other methods as well but if you check the github page you see all the available ways that you can use to set up botai 2 on a linux system so just check that out so i'll make other tutorials as well to uh, cover the other methods that are used for installing botai so if i do that i will leave them at the end of this video so come back and then watch those ones so that'll be all for this tutorial thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next session